Hi, guys, and welcome to the very first episode of Deb on the Web. And if you haven't figured it out, I'm Deb. This is the web. <laughs> this is the place where I kind of find all the weird and interesting things on the internet, or at least things I think are interesting, and share them with you guys. Let me know what you think. Feel free to comment, send in your own clips if there's anything that you've seen out there that you'd like discussed here. Definitely feel free to send that in to us. Um, I urge you all to do your own research, 100%, because, and definitely don't believe anything you see at face value anywhere on the internet, let alone here. So we're just going to get right into it. Oh, and if you end up liking this, feel free to come back Monday through Friday around 7 o'clock. I'll be putting up a new video every day. Okay. Oh, let's see what the magic of the internet holds today. Oh, what is that, Mom? What? Ma, you see this? No. Holy shit. What, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? I see Real life glitches, strange occurrences, skies shifting colors, even glimpses of what look like portals opening. Are we living in a simulation or is it all just our imagination? Take a look and decide for yourself. The sky just changed. I think this one girl on TikTok really found the glitch in the matrix. If you stand in front of a fucking mirror, look at yourself, say, I am you, you are me, this is my body. Stare at yourself for a couple seconds. It gets weird as shit. Are you recording this? What's going on? All the lights are traffic lights is out too. Oh my god. Yo. What is going on? Yo, that's just whoa. What? Yo, they're about to you see this? No. Holy shit. What, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? Can I see this? Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? What is that? What is that? I have a couple things to say about this. One, portals. I'm not so sure. I mean... It's got to be something. There, there are definitely other dimensions, right? I think we can all at least agree on that. So, I mean, portals would make sense, but I'm not so sure I think that's what that was in the sky. I'm really not sure what to think. The big orange rings, that's, that's a little weird. It definitely looks video game-esque. And I just noticed this. Was it just me? Or was it the same voiceover? in two of those sky clips that same kid saying mom did you just see that i don't know you really can't know what to trust but there's definitely some strange stuff going on out there that one where the sky was just glitching out in different colors and then just went dark i have no explanation i just have no explanation for that be skeptical be skeptical of everything you say Ready? I mean, divine intervention is literally the only thing I can say about that. You were meant to survive that, but for some reason meant to go through it also. Keep your head up. Although, I mean, who's going to expect a giant water tank to fall off of your neighbor's roof? It's another thing to add to the list, I guess, right? Okay. Butter was actually one of my favorite cookies as a kid. Oh. Have you seen... Remember this cookie brand? Like, do you remember Nutter Butter was actually one of my favorite cookies? I just want to say, remember it is still a thing. I haven't had one in a while, but they're definitely still a thing, right? They're definitely a thing. Also, 
do I kind of look like this guy? <laughs> but yeah, I'll try and make the same face. I don't know. Cookies as a kid. Have you seen their social media? Like, go watch it. You'll have nightmares. I don't know if it got hacked or we're being punked, but it's legit terrifying. Like, nut or butter. Blink twice if you need help. Hmm. Have any of you guys seen this? Well, if not, you're about to. What do you think? seen the absolute debauchery that is going on in the official Nutter Butter TikTok account, go check that out right now. Yes, we're talking about the Nutter Butter. This was arguably one of my favorite snacks as a kid growing up. And there are some wild videos going on on this account, man. Like, just the thumbnails alone should give you a general idea as to the type of content these guys produce. This is one of their pinned posts. It says, I'm home. And there's a little family of Nutter Butters right here, but there's something going on in the background, something sinister. You scroll to the very end and you see this thing, wh whatever it may be. These videos honestly remind me of things you would probably see on Adult Swim at 3 o'clock in the morning, like this right here. <laughs> there's actual jump scares in these videos. This is another jump scare from another one of their videos as well. What is this thing? Is that supposed to be like a bastardized version of Willy Wonka? There's also a little bit of lore, if you could even call it that. There's a guy by the name of Aiden that the company seems to really be obsessed with. And it looks like it's simply just an action figure with a Nutter Butter for a head. And uh, this drip right here really reminds me of little Nicky. And then there's this post too that says, what could you if you don't share so they say no could couch? What? Mind you, this is the official <laughs> Nutter Butter account with visuals like this. This is marketing done right, in my opinion. The official drumstick account is also extremely similar. It also vaguely reminds me of this account that pops up in my For You page every now and then. They're called Alternate Bazaar Art, and these videos are absolutely trippy as well. Now before I go, I gotta give a shout out to my wife because she was actually the one that brought this to my attention, so shout out to Claire. Claire! <laughs> um, interesting. I have to agree with it, that gentleman's assessment that it's very Adult Swim. Um, but I think the answer to that is just that everyone who grew up watching Adult Swim eventually became adults who now work in the marketing department for Nutter Butter. So that's pretty much that answer. Um, it also kind of seems like, so Nutter Butter is just uh, peanut butter cookies with like peanut butter inside, right? Uh, there's a lot of chocolate in those ads. So I'm wondering if it's alluding, Did was chocolate ever involved? Because I'm wondering if it's alluding to bringing back some sort of chocolate peanut butter hybrid because there was definitely like a little love between them there implied i'm not sure however i will say this i found this for you guys so you can know that nutter butter was never actually always quite mainstream with their marketing this is quite old and I think you'll get a little answer of who that, that Willy Wonka style character, as well as that Aiden character is. I think these are old school throw, uh, callbacks. So let's see what you guys think. Here's the Nutter Butter Peanut Butter Sandwich Cookie Riddle. What has creamy peanut butter filling, filling up its middle? And is peanut shaped and crunchy too? It's another Nutter Butter peanut butter sandwich cookie. Aw, oh, you knew. Here, Nutter Butter Man, have another Nutter Butter peanut butter sandwich cookie. We're both from the biscuit. Oh. So, I mean, I think that's the answer to that as far as the jump scares and creepy stuff. It's just us as a generation now got into marketing. Um, 
This next one I put in there because of all the hurricanes. Um, praying for everybody who was affected. Every state, every rescue worker, um, everyone on the ground, everyone trying to get to those people. Uh, just praying for everyone and sending positivity and it's really tragic to see all the videos and I didn't put any of those up today. However, not everybody knows what category one, category two, category three, all these things means when it comes to hurricanes. So this was kind of an interesting simulation thing. I personally get all of my web information from the original Twister movie, which although probably accurate, might not really give you the entire story. So, let's watch. Storm. And the damage here, not too bad. A couple of shingles fall off. Ah, we can have some palm I can't hear it. Sorry about that. Okay, let's turn it you let's start off with a category one storm and the damage here not too bad a couple of shingles fall off you can have some palm fronds bending in the wind but everything basically remains intact category two that's where you really start to feel it look at the windows of the house they can be hit from debris from the outside and already start breaking in a category two your trees are significantly bent over in the wind and the siding of the house itself can break flapping there in the wind adding to those eerie noises inside category three i've heard only a category three but it's not only anything except really bad news in a category three you can have the door of the house blown in because the winds get so strong you can have the roof of the house start to flap up and down in the wind because it can lift off those weak points and a lot of those trees start to fall Category four, the damage is even worse. You get most trees falling, most of your windows breaking, most of your shingles fly away, and then Cat 5 is as high as the category scale goes. By Cat 5, no shingles remain anywhere nearby. The holes in the roof get so big that the walls of the house start to fall because they're not attached to anything anymore. There won't be any trees up in the neighborhood. That's just catastrophic damage. But again, that's just from the wind. And there are other impacts from hurricanes, and they all vary through the season. So stick with the Weather Channel to keep you safe from the tropics. Even just watching that simulation just kind of gets to me because I imagine all the people in those situations. I saw this one video. Um, I guess everybody just stayed at their house. And they had as many of their belongings on tables as they could. All the people in the house were like up to here with water and they had their dog on a table and I was just thinking like I don't I mean how how much worse can you handle before you're one of the sad stories and it's terrible because I guess not everybody can evacuate where do you go how do you get out I'm sure roads were blocked and I don't want to get into that too much because I don't want to cry <laughs> But um, I like to end on something positive. So this is something kind of cool that I found that maybe you guys are interested in. That was super cute. I didn't see what they used for the wick part, but I'm not sure how safe this actually is. I'm not sure. It's a cute idea. I think we can all admit that. So I think I'm going to end it there for today. Um, if you'd like to watch me become less awkward as I do this, because this was the first episode, feel free to come along on this journey. I think that. The more we 
we get into the social media age, the more things that we see that we wouldn't normally see. And we're capturing things that we didn't necessarily believe existed or just things like that. And not everything is real. Like I said, do your own research. This is for entertainment purposes only, of course. But I think that if we can band together as a community to learn about these things and share what we know with each other, we can get through it together. It's a very weird time that we all live in. So everybody stay safe. Stay and know to your pets. And good night, Grandma.